have you ever been browsing for a home online and you're just looking at these photos and just thinking, man, this is way too good to be true. What is going on? Why is that grass so green? Why is that sky so blue? In today's video, what I wanna do is I'm gonna pull up a search and I'm just gonna kind of share with you some strategies and some tricks that realtors use to kind of fool you into liking a house more than you really do and i'm the, the point of this video is i really want to show you how to search more effectively because if you can search more effectively you can reduce a lot a lot of time and stress in the home buying home searching process and i don't care if you're looking to buy next year you're still going to be on zillow looking at houses this information will be just as valuable for you because you really want to make sure and stay tuned to the end of the video where i don't know just youtube world tells me i should tell you to wait till the end of the video so i can trick you into watching the whole video so Wait till the end of the video where I'm gonna do a silly dance. I don't know, just watch it if you can, please. So now first and foremost, I wanna talk about uh, a new addition to my collection. Um, we have here a Mario Party 2 original box, and of course the game. So I actually picked up the cartridge myself uh, like a few months ago, and I just cannot find the box anywhere, but my wife uh, was able to find it, and it's pretty freaking sweet. Now, I remember as a kid, this, whew, this game not only did it made a lot of i don't know if it was this one or the first one that had that game you know they're talking about the one that you get to go like this uh, man whew. a lot of good memories of this game but a lot of uh a lot of angry uh, control throwing with friends so i uh, just want to kind of talk about this new edition and uh, uh it's going to go back to the wall there with my other nintendo 64 games and i'll make sure to share uh, as I, I add to it. So anyways, let's get to it. So uh, we're gonna be focusing on a search here using the MLS and I will also be replicating the search on Zillow so I can show you guys how identical it would look or how I would do the things I'm gonna show you on a public website because I know this is the MLS and not everyone has access to that. So first and foremost, let's get it out of the way. Let's get some stuff out of the way. If you're ever wondering how are the photos taken and why are some photos better than other photos but well, it's quite simple when you are selling your house you hire a real estate agent and depending on who you hire who, what their budget is or whatever whatever they're they're charging they are going to be the ones responsible for essentially taking the photos and putting them on the mls just like you see here and then the mls is going to syndicate to all the websites like zillow realtor truly and whatnot now the key difference between a realtor with photos like this and photos like this or even dare i say photos like this are services like this lister sister um there's this is just a bigger company here in the phoenix arizona area um i know that probably every city has multiple companies like this but this is the easiest one to use so it would cost approximately 120 dollars for professional photography or a little more if they basically put the lockbox and install this stuff for you so really the key difference between uh, this and this is the realtor's uh, ability to spend $120 on photos. A lot of times agents like to sell themselves like, oh my gosh, I'm the best agent. I'm gonna take the best photos you're ever gonna see. Dude, you're gonna be freaking crying when you see the photos of your house. Nah, they're just gonna pay probably another company with better cameras or something, you know? Realtors like to make their jobs more important than they really are. But anywho, um, first and foremost, now that we understand that, it really, you, you wanna start with this, okay? You wanna make sure that you're never judging a house by its photo. Because if you're doing that, then you're judging a book by its cover. Um, this could work in your favor without your favor. So yes, if a if house is really well professionally photographed, you're gonna be able to see more features of it and you're gonna see if you like it more. But on the other side of that token, they might fool you into thinking that house is way better than it actually is. For example, here's this house. The photos look spectacular, right? They're always going to use a wide angle lens, right? So it's going to make it seem bigger than it is. And this looks like a brand new house and, you know, brand new kitchen countertops and the whole nine. This looks like the perfect house and 100 percent. You're going to like, well, this is it. This is perfect. Later on, you're going to see why that might be a mistake with this specific house. So uh, on the other side, you might find a house that's really ugly like this one. And you'll say, hey, those photos are really bad. I don't want to see it but you're immediately discounting it and you're not gonna give it a chance and it's just not the right uh, the right approach. So never judge a house by its photos. You always wanna judge it by other things, the details on the house, the, the, the location, the area, et cetera, et cetera. So if anything, I have trained myself to think if the photos are really spectacular, 
it raises some alarm for me that just i mean not to say there's something wrong with the house it just makes me put on my my dragon armor with my dragon medium helm and ready to go and just you know just just be prepared right because they're always trying to do something likewise if the house has only one photo it does the same effect right so if it's too extreme too really well presented or not well presented enough it does bring some defensive things so instead what you want to do is you want to um when you're comparing houses do yourself a favor and try to find some kind of list view like this um, a lot of times they are going to arrange it like by price here. You're not going to be able to do a, a list view. Let me move myself out of the way, um, but you might be able to sort it by the other important features. So I personally, let me get Lister sister out of the way. Um, I like to just ascending or descending from a square footage so you can see which houses truly are bigger. And you're going to be surprised to find out the ones, the, the third one that didn't have the best photos is actually pretty pretty big uh with 2000 1997 square feet it sold as is and it's in a lake subdivision if you judge this house specifically please internet don't do this to me been downloading too much when the house you love youtube videos um you will never consider this house but if you're looking at it by the details you're going to see that hey this is actually not bad and here you can do the same thing on zillow look at it by the square footage um and and, and you know don't look at it by the price or the photos and you start seeing the details of the house that actually are more important um likewise if bedrooms are important you can judge it by that or you know and then have the photos small as possible so you can actually another way uh the realtors trick you with decent photos is by not showing you the whole picture it's like somebody's dating profile not that i know okay i was with a friend once and they were showing me this one that you build a bio like i do in my day we had myspace you know with the free you, you can learn how to code on that <laughs> i remember i had falling letters from my freaking profile my top 10 friends and it was like a big controversy whenever one would add or remove you or bump you down or bump you up right so that was my dating life in middle school I've been married since high school, so um, I, I can't really talk about that. But anyways, you know, they always show the best version of you. They don't show the whole picture, right? They don't go like, hey, I'm actually, I have really severe father issues and this or the other. No, they just show like the best photos and looking good. And I don't know, is this what photos you take like, is this what the photos look like when you're single? I don't know. So, um, <laughs> yeah, they're always gonna show you the best side of it. So. I already showed you, okay, number one, you know, never judge it by photos. Number two, you wanna make sure to judge houses by the details and, 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 and set it in the right order based on the details that are important to you. And number three is gonna be, look at the whole picture. So I showed you this house before and to the naked eye, this might be an automatic ad, meaning, hey, let's add this to the list because this is amazing. Now you, you're not expected to be the master in your, of, your, of your area. like. And also you shouldn't expect your realtor to go like, hey bro, this area is bad. Don't buy this house, bro. Because that's actually a, a violation. But what you wanna do is if you see a house you like, don't just say, okay, check mark, let's add it, let's go. You wanna get out of whatever search you're doing, even including Zillow. So this house is on Zillow too. Paste it on Google Maps. Go to the satellite view, get this little guy, drop him there and get a, get a good picture. There is two things that we're learning from this picture. One, looks like this house and, and three, four years ago was this. So definitely it is a brand new house, great. But by doing a quick 360, you get a feel for the neighborhood. Now, you probably saw that house being brand new. You saw the price, you said, oh wow, this is an amazing new neighborhood, this is it. But just by getting a good picture of the neighborhood, you're gonna get you're gonna know what's up, right? And I'm not gonna make any judgments here. Um, you, I'm letting you do that, but we got some trailer stuff situation going on here. And that's why I always say, uh, like when a house starts with like a, 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 like this, like they try to trick you, oh, look at this beautiful pool. Well, do you guys, well, you guys see a beautiful pool, right? Do you know what I see? I see bird shit all over the pool. And I see two two-story homes that are literally right above your pool and can see you. If you decide to go swim naked in the middle of the day, maybe you just finished watching a Javier Vidano video and you're like, man, that was some good real estate knowledge. I'm going to go jump in the pool naked now. Well, guess what? Your neighbors are going to be watching you. So I don't care what your situation is. Like, look at this one, right? This is the one that we probably wouldn't even looked at. Okay, well, let's look at the whole picture. Let's get the address. Okay. 
So we can already see a few things. It's literally behind a huge empty lot, right? So it looks like it's a subdivision and there's an empty lot there, but let's get a good fool of the neighborhood. Should drop the little guy there. And it looks like it's just your standard subdivision. So well, not too bad, but let's go see what's going on over here with that empty patch of land over there. Yeah, just, just not too far away. They have all this empty land here. Now, this is something that maybe is a big turnoff for you. And hey, you would have never known that if just by looking at the photos. Just just get a good idea of what they're trying to lead you. Like, where are they leading you? And do not be led. So like for this one, for example, they, they're they trying to lead you by starting you off with the pool. Maybe you've been looking for a pool. You're like, oh, great. Okay, that sounds good. And, you know, And as they lead you, um, notice what they did there like notice that there's a, a door here and then they cut you right into this living area so they're not taking a photo of the hallway and you have to start asking yourself why well it's probably because it's really tight like for example here you can notice that this is the front door stairway boom living area so automatically i'm already seeing this house as something super tight there's a living area there this is a small small house and the last advice i have for you and this is the one i told you you should wait wait till the end of the video to watch did you do it if you did it i don't know i i i sometimes think i can be a much better youtuber if i would just like sell out but i can't do it if you did it let me know what your favorite pizza topping is sorry um so the last advice i have for you and that's something i've mentioned before is you you know when you're getting a whole picture you know by this you've already kind of you known you've, you've done the walkthrough you've you've did the, the the area search and you're getting a good idea of what you like you want to want to check the days on market like um so just looking at this list here um i don't know if you're a lot if you can do it here i guess maybe you can no you can sort by That'd be sweet if they actually, yeah. So you can sort by days on market on Zillow. You would just have to sort by newest and then scroll all the way down. <laughs> That's how you would do it. So um, you can really identify some pretty awesome opportunities by searching by days on market and starting your search from there and working your way back. For Zillow, you would have to go on newest and then go all the way down and start kind of figuring out which ones the ones you like there. Like this one's been on the market for 20 days. Um, Little Park, not bad, a good area. It looks like it has new flooring, but yeah, you can start identifying some pretty sweet opportunities there. So, um, that's, so what do you guys think? Have you guys ever seen a house that's like, dude, what the hell they tricked me? Have you guys ever been punked by a house? I want to hear your stories. Let me know in the comments below. If you're looking for an agent referral, make sure to click the link in the description. Check out our agent referral program by home and money. We do great program. We, there's a team of people that assign you to an agent that's been verified and they are following up with the agent, following up with you to make sure you guys get a good experience. And I'm freaking top of that. I mean, we've helped already thousands of people get connected with a great agent. So if you're considering, you know, interviewing several agents, you know, feel free to add one of these into the repertoire. Um, ooh, fancy word. And remember, guys, uh, Kyle and I are working on the digital home buying journal. Go to myreplan.com right now to check it out. And um, yeah, appreciate y'all time. You guys have a good one. Can't wait to read the comments.